Each year, thousands of foreign women marry American men through so-called international matchmaking. The international matchmaking industry, better known as mail-order bride business, is booming. Many of the men... Does reality really meet expectation? I've been writing to this lady, you know, we're, we're almost daily for, for months now. Emails are $10 a pop going and coming. So I'm probably out 10 grand. My biggest fear is that it was a scam. That she's writing to 50 or 60 guys and she's getting a cut of the fees for the emails going back and forth. I spent thousands of dollars, you know, just for the trip. Uh, letter translations and photos. Thousands of dollars out of pocket for this. Do, do you ever just feel like you're just writing a photo? My name is Joe Cards, and today we have the rare and special privilege of talking to Arthur, an American man that's been in search of love, in search of an amazing wife in the Ukraine for over 10 years. And unfortunately, despite blowing over 10 grand on email writing alone, today remains lonely and unmarried. You know, when I met Arthur in a little cafe here in Sumy, Ukraine, we hit it off right away. He was just really open and raw and real with me. And we bantered back and forth on, you know, this ugly industry, as you'll find out in this video, the marriage agency or the mail order bride industry, and how it's fraught with cons and scams. And he shared with us all the mistakes and all the ways he's been frauded and scammed in his 10 years and meeting over 100 women. So I shared with Arthur my mission, my goal, and my story of how when I came to the Ukraine, I was jaded and skeptical beyond beyond. I had seen all the YouTube videos and you know, read in the forums all of the, the, the gold diggers, the, the, the conning women, the scammers, the bad agencies. And so I was petrified when I came. And I went to agency after agency after agency. And I basically uh, did my own research and tried to discover the real truth behind what is the marriage agency or the mail order bride industry. And then I said, you know, I really should expose this industry for what it is and uncover the ugly truth of this industry. And how can I do that? Who's going to believe what? If they hear it directly from unbiased Ukrainian women who are married, never been to the agencies, some been to the agencies, um, you're going to hear in this video interview series, I call it Confessions of a Scammer. This is a lady that worked inside one of these agencies for years 
And her job was conning and scamming and milking Western men for all they're worth kind of thing. And you'll hear her break down and lose it. You're going to hear from a lot of ladies and I'm going to ask them, you know, is it true? Is there a ton of lonely, beautiful, sophisticated, sexy Ukrainian women that are just, you know, looking for a good man to have a family with? You'll hear from the ladies themselves in these interviews. It's true. So that begs the question, why does this industry, the marriage agency or the mail order bride industry, why does it make its money conning and scamming Western men out of their money? When there's women that come into these agencies looking for a good man, yes, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of scammers in there too that have you know, un, not pure intentions. And the trick is finding the, the diamonds in the rough, if you will, especially when the agencies don't have the goal of doing legitimate matchmaking for happiness and for happy family, happy life. That's the trick. In this video series, we're going to endeavor to uncover all the frauds and scams so you can see where the landmines are so you can now avoid them. And we're going to endeavor to pave the path for your success, show you that you can indeed go to the Ukraine and meet the most amazing woman and marry her and she will rock your world. Uh, in more ways than you can possibly imagine. It's true, this opportunity exists. So you're gonna see that in this video interview series. Um, you're gonna hear from Arthur right now, and he's gonna reveal all his costly mistakes. Arthur, welcome. Thank you, Joe, good to be here. You know, I wanna thank you, seriously, mm -hmm. genuinely, for being willing to talk about this sure. departed subject. You've been in the Ukraine looking for love for 10 years. Almost, almost 10 almost years. 10 yeah. years. And you're genuinely looking for a life partner to settle down. Yes, get married. yes, absolutely. You're even willing to move to the Ukraine for the right girl. Yes, because some of them want that. Indeed, they do. Or immigrate them to mm -hmm. America. Uh, and um, you've agreed to share your story. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, thank you very much. My pleasure. It's going to be. There's going to be so many other foreigners that can learn from your, mm -hmm. you know, as you say, costly, painful mistakes mm -hmm. over the years. Uh, because when a foreigner comes here. For the first time, or even the nth time, yep. there's so many mistakes they can make. There's so many problems in the industry. It's such a big industry riddled with frauds and scams. It is. Right? It is. So one of the things we're going to do, maybe we can start by exposing the ugly truth about the marriage agency industry, the mail order bride sure. industry in the Ukraine. At least in my experience, I can share what my experiences are. Let's share our experiences. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you want to go first? Sure. Just uh, yeah, on. that sounds good. Uh, one of the, I think, the biggest uh, fraudulent uh, aspects is the letter writing schemes, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole promotion of the, those particular sites is to milk you, milk the foreigner, for as many letters as as possible, six to eight to ten, twelve, fifteen dollars a piece, depending. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some ladies uh, get a real high price for their letters. Right. And the longer they can keep you writing letters, the more money they make, and it costs them nothing really to uh, to to write back and forth. And yeah, because they pay the girls almost. Well, nothing. I and and it, in my experience, what I've learned is that most of the letter writing is not done by the girl herself. In fact, she rarely even knows you're writing to her. Right. It's generally a paid uh, interpreter, a young man or a young woman who. It's actually doing the answering and... A young man, you said. Oh, yes. So it can be a man actually responding on behalf of... Absolutely. Olga or Svata, this Absolutely. beautiful model picture you're looking at. Yeah. And you got... Um, <laughs> and you're bearing... Igor. And you're, yeah, and you're bearing your soul... And, to Igor. <laughs> to Igor, yeah. And you're going... Afterwards, you feel dirty, in a way. I mean, well, I, I when I found it out, it, it felt really kind of uncomfortable. To say the least. Yeah. You know. Uh, and that I, I and I actually uh, it hasn't been that long ago that I learned this aspect of it. I assumed that there were female interpreters who you know mm -hmm. were doing the letter interpreting, and the girl was dictating and she was writing the letter. But when I found the ugly truth that there could have been a boy or a girl, and they were actually the ones writing, and the girl didn't even know. Uh, and what I do know personally uh, is that uh, the interpreters do the writing for uh, this group of profiles mm -hmm. and they write to the uh, men who are writing letters and they never contact the girls unless, uh, unless the girl is an active 
participant, and that's rare. Most of the time they don't even know the letters are being written. Mm -hmm. And so the man thinks he's writing to Sveta, and he's actually writing to Igor, mm -hmm. <laughs> or whatever. And I think, it, would you agree, it depends probably on the size of the agencies. There are some like boutique-type agencies mm -hmm. that have you know mm -hmm. a few hundred girls, mm -hmm. uh, but then there's the big uh, industry bohemus, which we won't uh, yeah, mention, yeah, but yeah. you can find out pretty easily online which are the big boys, mm -hmm. and those ones have machine, well-oiled machines with pre-written letters. Absolutely. And, and Letter one, two, three, up to thirty pre-written letters, and uh, you can tell sometimes if it's pre-written if they're responding to you, exactly or not. Well, if you do this long enough, you learn. If you're going to do the letter writing thing, you learn the trick pretty quick to ask specific questions and demand specific answers. Mm -hmm. And if you don't get the right answer, then you can be pretty sure you're not writing to a real woman, mm -hmm. the real woman. Mm -hmm. uh, you've That's got somebody tip. else, yeah. So you bail out of that, but even no matter how good the letter sounds and how nice the pictures are and everything else, you get out of that one. Because yeah, because you're you talking to Eagle. Yeah, you're not talking to it, the woman. It, it's money just flushed down the toilet, yeah. you're wasting your time, and you're developing feelings for you're, you're, this yes, picture. Yes, Falling you in love are. with the picture, and it's really Igor that you're corresponding with. It is. It's, it's, uh, it's really a quite vile. It's a dangerous... Uh, trap to get caught in because it's mm -hmm. a virtual trap. It's, yeah. you're, you're in this virtual reality and, and you're falling in love with a picture, a photograph, and a false profile. This is not just farting around for me because I feel so sympathetic for so many guys. Just in a letter writing industry alone, I have spent well over $10,000. It's a fucking Pollyanna dream, a fantasy world. You're better off living in your virtual world and jacking off because this is a heartbreaking world. He so got so caught with this woman, he spent $10,000 on her. She was married. She was married. She was married and had a child. A few times she had sex and her husband was fully aware of it and fully in agreement with it. The money was and the gifts was too good to pass up. I said, Marty, you just need to buck up and be a man and just quit the fucking whining and quit your pissing around, I'm tired of hearing, I'm up to here with it, she's fucking you over. So we have this predicament now. So there's a 30-year-old, 30 30-year 30 uh, age gap. Mm -hmm. As much as I, I love it now, there's this other side of me thinking, this is doomed. Mm -hmm. Oh right. my God. A lot of powerful women in the Ukraine. Oh, she wore, me, she wore me out. Oh my God. I don't even want to think about it. Is there a lot of lonely, single, beautiful women in the Ukraine? More than you can possibly imagine. These are real women with real feelings, real emotions, real desires, real wants. Yeah. They are worth the effort. Mm -hmm.